As part of the Salma Gandhi Arts Festival by students from University Centre Western, we have uh, an exhibition here at LT Gallery of work by CAP students, graphic design students, and also the uh, photography FDA degree. And Joe Kirkman is here to talk a little bit more about his work and give you more of an insight into the project he's been working on, which incorporates his photographs here today. Thanks, Joe. So some context to this, uh, these images are shot in uh, the Isle of Lewis in the Outer Hebrides and the Isle of Lewis is the north westernmost isle in the Outer Hebrides. It is, um, it is the size of Belgium but only has a uh, population of 20,000 people so it's very isolated and rural. Um, which I think is pretty obvious in the images. Um, the work's about the community and life on the island and how it's really dramatically changing. Um, in the last five to ten years, a lot of modern, the modern world has finally reached the island, as previously it was very um, traditional in a lot of ways. Um, and so the majority of the work focuses on the abandoned property, houses, vehicles, uh, which you find on the island as previously, for many, many generations, people would, young people would move to the mainland for work because there wasn't a lot of opportunities, especially for women um, on the island. Um, and so the landscape is littered with houses and buses and tractors, which have been there for decades. Um, but now that I am, um, but now that in the last five, ten years, a lot of people have started moving to the island um, to for you know summer houses or retirement, um, and it's a really nice escape from the modern world. Uh, a lot of money starts coming in, and the population is dramatically changing, and with it, it's finally increasing, it's stabilizing. So the work includes a lot of interviews with uh, locals who've been farmers on the island since they were well, all their lives and some of the new incomers, as they're called, um, who moved, moved the island um, and um, talking about the past uh, and tradition and now in the future with the modern, modern world and people um, moving to the island for art and landscape and community um, which it didn't previously have. Now I have come to the island every year since I was a child. Uh, my family are from the island and it is very precious to me but it's kind of an odd change in dynamic as these images here show a very sort of barren, isolated landscape, which is what I think of Lewis as, and sort of tight-knit, close traditional community. And it feels rather uncertain as to where it's going to go. It's the sort of last sort of, sort of last sort of ga Gallic speaking traditional place in the world. And it's, as much as I feel that the modern world is very necessary for it so that people can stay on the island instead of having to move, it's, um, it's changing it so dramatically. And I wanted to capture that in these images. Um, so these two focus more on these sort of abandoned stuff of people moving and leaving. Um, but then they have portraits of the farmers and the incomers and portraits uh, and photographs of, you know, newer developed properties and the expanding population in the towns as well as um, these really nice images. I um, the images use a deep depth of field so that everything is in focus, um, because I want I want images to be as sort of matter of fact and clear as possible. I wanted the product to be as documentary as possible, um, but also.
also in a sense a bit fine arty. Uh, I wanted it to be very um, sort of a bit abstract, open to interpretation, um, which I think for, for landscape images, I think they achieve that. Um, I haven't yet finished with the photographing. Uh, over this Easter holiday, I am going back up for my final interviews and um, and some final images of the people. Uh, so I've a bit more focus on the community. Uh, my parents are moving to the uh, Hebrides, retiring there, and so there's a lot of um, community that I hadn't previously been aware of. I hadn't really been a member of the community, even though I've been. It was like a um, away from home for me and so it's been a real eye-opener sort of being welcomed into that community and that's why I wanted to represent in these images um, so um, I'm currently exhibiting here in LT gallery um, along with many other uh, students work but uh, we will also uh, from the FDA in photography and practice course we'll be exhibiting in the Island Gallery in Bristol from the 30th of April to the 4th of May, if you want to come check it out. Right. Great, thanks, Joe. <laughs>